Good morning, or afternoon, or evening, whatever this is for you. Uh, I just thought I would, I hadn't done a writing with James in a while, I thought I would toss this out. I do like to do one every now and then, and and uh, just kind of get a little bit of feedback from the 40 or so people that are going to bother clicking on this, and then the 10 or 12 that are actually going to uh, stick around past the first 30 seconds. Uh, <laughs> But I don't, I don't, didn't really have anything to put up this week because uh, real life got in the way, as it does sometimes uh, with YouTube. And uh, I got a new manager at work, and we've, we've lost a couple of people recently, and I've been working extra hours. And after this coming week, it's probably going to get back to more to quote unquote normal. So. Maybe I'll be able to to put some more work into things, but uh, since the the last thing I put a lot of work into is the Kamala World Class Bios, and boy, that just about that just about did me in. I had a lot of trouble finding uh, the right video, and then I was having trouble with my uh, video editing software. And then uh, once I would try and get it, try and upload the doggone thing. The WWE kept finding these little three-second snippets that they wanted to give me a copyright claim on, and uh, ended up having like five different versions, which I had to, to make ten times because my editing software was kind of screwing up, and I'd have big black spots uh, with no video in it. And once I finally got that online, I was you know somewhat happy with it. There's a, there's a little part at the very beginning of it, about a three-second span that. There's a, a black screen, and I just said, you know what, that's good enough. I'm not doing this again. <laughs> but once I finally got that online, I just, I just, I don't, I gotta, I gotta take a little break from stuff. And uh, the five things I did, you know, the five things that Americans do to annoy the Irish. That's when I tried to get ready for St. Patrick's Day, and I couldn't get it together in time, so I just had like some blanks that I had to fill in on that one. I was able to get it up. Right now, I don't have anything. And I don't know if I'm going to have the chance to work on anything for the next few days. So I just thought I would say that take a going to take a little bit of a minor break. I might go ahead and take a couple of weeks. Uh, just, all right, you know, I, don't, I, may, I may see if I can do a short story reading or something for, for next week or, or something. But, um, yeah, I'm going to try and, and build up uh, something of a library anyway. But yeah, I may, I may, I may just skip, you know, I may just fade into the background for a, a few days until I can get back on my regular schedule. But something I did want to ask you guys, uh, I've had a couple of people, Nez Lovers brought it up, I had a couple of other people bring it up. They, they keep saying, you should do a podcast. And I won't. I don't have a clue what I would do a podcast on, because you know I think with a podcast it really you kind of have to have. I don't know if you have to have a particular subject. I don't know if that would really matter. But I thought, well, that writing with James could be that. I could do have to do the writing with James podcast. Uh, that that could be something. And you know, do a. a a longer, maybe a little bit more in-depth thing. Maybe talk about some subjects that I don't really talk about. And writing with James you know, the world at large. And I've had a couple of things I've thought about putting out there that are, I don't know, maybe, maybe a little more serious. Uh, the, the one particular topic I had in mind is hardly a hot topic right now, but it's kind of an opinion I've had that I've never really put out there. And I thought, well, maybe because they do have the, the podcast option on YouTube now. And uh, I thought, well, maybe that's like a, maybe once a month, like in the middle of the month, uh, just to start out, just to see how it goes and see if I can stick with it. And, but I'm, I'm not going to do it. And it's not going to be anytime soon. If I do it, I'd probably... I'm going to have to sit and think about it and do I, do I want that iron in the fire and 
so on and so forth. But I just thought I'd toss that out and see if uh, if anybody had any any ideas. I you know I've been doing a lot of pro wrestling stuff, but I mean yeah, there's already a ton of pro wrestling podcasts out there, and uh, there are people that have actually been in the industry I mean, when you're going up you know you've got Steve Austin has a podcast and Jim Cornette has a podcast and uh, you know uh, Dutch Mantel and all these people that were actually in professional wrestling you know who, who the heck am I <laughs> you know, uh, I think I'll, I'll leave the pro wrestling for the YouTube videos I guess it wouldn't be so bad to, to do a podcast just on my opinions, my thoughts, my hell of a, if I get five people listening, maybe <laughs> that would be worth the time. At least, if nothing else, maybe it can be uh, something somewhat um, therapeutic. Uh, and then I could also use that maybe with a podcast. I could reach more people to, to talk about YouTube channels and uh, you know promote some some other folks and. Uh, I've, thanks to the the wonders of the internet, I've gotten to know some, and on some level at least, gotten to know some, uh, you know, rising comics and actors. You know, of course, I've talked about Justine Stafford a lot on here, and uh, you know, there's I still don't understand why Lindsley Register hasn't had more TV shows and, and stuff like that, and. Uh, I can talk about, you know, maybe some local bands, help promote them. I guess I'm, I'm just curious if any of you would be that interested in it, if it's something, like I say, it's not all the time. Uh, say I might just try it, like I say, about, about once a month, sometime in the middle of the month, I could pop that out. And and that would be a thing that if you're not interested, and it, you know, of course it would be a little bit longer than a writing with James. I try to keep these around 10 minutes or so. You know, I can maybe... Maybe do like a 30-minute thing for a podcast. Like I say, the, the whole idea behind writing with James is you didn't have to watch it. You could, and you could see, you know, the where I was, where I had been going and, and the road I was taking, And but you could just listen. You know, Sherry Sherry told me she would do that. She would just be in the car, and she would, you know, play my, my writing with James, and it was just like I was she was riding in the car with me. So it just seems like that kind of suits a podcast, doesn't it? If I can, just, if you just get your, your thoughts and opinions on that. If there's any particular subject matter you think I ought to delve into, uh, let me know. And uh, I guess I guess that's basically it. You know, that's, uh, I, just, I just basically wasted about, uh, about nine and a half minutes of your time. Uh, <laughs> but uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for, uh, thank you for all the support I've been getting. I'm up to getting close to the 1,800 subscribers now on YouTube. So that's cool. And I uh, do want to thank everybody for supporting the channel and, and uh, coming back to, to watch crap like this. And speaking of crap, uh, I'm going to go ahead and show a clip. I don't even know what video I'm going to use yet, but I'm going to show a clip of an, of an old video. And if uh, it's one that you haven't seen, then I'm going to go check it out. All right, thanks for, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming along for, for the ride. Uh, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Not necessarily in that order. And I will see you next time. Well, I can tell you this much. If you enjoy the smell of fishing, this would be the place for you. <laughs> it's, got, it's got that damp, was that really supposed to get wet kind of smell to it? Or wet and been wet for a really long time kind of smell? No motor vehicles. No cars. <laughs> yes, I'm from the 1920s. No motor vehicles. Doesn't say you can't walk down through here, so... I just want to see how close I can get. See, there's quite a few birds out this way. Some of them, as soon as I got out of my my Jeep, He's, oh, I think maybe we interrupted his bath. <laughs>